this particular research came about uh, because of concerns about high costs of cattle feeding and uh, potential issues that it creates in the beef industry. Uh, some animal scientists uh, came up with some ideas for this research and worked with John Ritten and uh, at the SARC station and they put in a five state ruminant consortium grant uh, to basically look it at various regimes of weaning and feeding uh, to see if we could try and come up with ways to cheapen the uh, rations for cattle as well as create quality beef. Uh, the exciting thing about this research for us is that um, we're really talking about how do we reduce those cattle feeding costs but still produce high quality beef. And uh, what we found was that uh, if you're a traditional cow-calf operator, really your best option is to go ahead and wean as you normally would in October and sell your calves if that's what you normally do. However, what we did find is if you're a feedlot owner and you want to purchase those calves, uh, purchasing early weaned calves and then putting them on corn stalks earlier in, in life and then a shorter regime of feeding on concentrates uh, is a much more profitable option. If you're a cow-calf operator, however, and you wish to retain your own calves, you're better off with October weaning uh, and then corn stalks and short feeding your calves basically on corn. The interesting thing about uh, that research uh, from my perspective, or the exciting thing about that research from my perspective, is the fact that um, the animal science suggests that if you can put calves on a high plane of nutrition early on and turn on these satellite cells and turn them into marbling early on in life, you can change the plane of nutrition later in life uh, and maybe cheapen up that total cost of feeding across that animal and then feed them again on a high plane and still keep that high quality because of those satellite cells. Uh, so that's, that's been an interesting thing for me. Of course the animal scientists can tell you more about those cells than I can. But um, So we think that's a very uh, exciting research uh, topic because uh, in this day and age when we face these high corn prices, uh, the beef sector is looking for ways to cheapen those rations. And quite frankly, the impact on cow-calf producers <clears throat> is we have these higher corn prices. If we get to a point where we have more uh, calves that are available on the market, that'll be a depressing thing for calf prices. Again, figuring out ways to make those calves more profitable in the feedlot helps the demand for those calves.